Magandang araw po. Malugod namin kayong inaanyayahan dito sa Armed Forces of the Philippines, Commissioned Officers Country. On 17 February 1983, the original AFCOC building in Bulwagang Valdez was destroyed by fire, leading to the construction of a new building which was completed in 22 March 1984 and was inaugurated by then-President Ferdinand Marcos and First Lady Imelda Marcos. In the same year, the Armed Forces of the Philippines Commissioned Officers Club was registered as a non-stock, non-profit membership organization with the Securities and Exchange Commission. On 10 October 1989, the AFCOC Organization and Regulations Manual 89-1 consolidated all directives and publications relative to AFCOP operations, placing it under the Board of Directors, headed by the Deputy Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines. Further, the Executive Committee, headed by the Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel J1, was formed to assist the Board of Directors in policy design and operational reviews. On 01 January 1998, AFCOC was integrated into the General Headquarters and Headquarters Service Command. In 21 November 2003, AFCOC was granted tax-exempt status. And in 2006, the AFCOC Board of Directors was expanded to include oversight roles for government properties and resources used by AFCOC. On 23 March 2018, through BOT Resolution No. 2018-07, The AFP Commissioned Officers Club was renamed AFP Commissioned Officers Country. Despite various name changes and adjustments to positions, AFCOC remains a command facility under GHQ, serving not only GHQ assigned officers, but also all AFP personnel through its professional and efficient services. Being the sole GHQ unit which offers modern amenities, facilities, and food and non-food services for the AFP, AFCOC aims to be at par with leading hotels and catering services in the country. AFCOC thrives in serving the AFP community with its modern equipment and facilities, professional and properly trained personnel, and strategic and efficient processes and systems. With that, we are proud to present our significant accomplishments for calendar year 2022 to 2023. AFCOC facilitated various military functions requirements of the AFP leadership. Further, AFCOC ensured smooth catering services to various AFP unit anniversaries. Additionally, AFCOC facilitated functions requirements of major activities inside Camp General Emilio Aguinaldo. To keep in step with the AFP's journey towards world-class transformations, AFCOC prides itself with its modernized facilities and amenities in service to the AFP community.
aside from its regular functions, AFCOC went the extra mile in its services. Despite limited resources in terms of manpower and mobility requirements, AFCOC was able to successfully cater to 1,000 personnel during the AFP Health Service Command anniversary. As a way of giving back to the AFP community, AFCOC engages in various corporate social responsibility efforts. Indeed, AFCOC serves not only as a venue for different events, but a place where camaraderie and fellowship among AFP personnel are celebrated. Through the unwavering dedication and commitment of AFCOC personnel and continuous support from the command, the unit has successfully performed its mandate of providing quality services to the AFP community. Kami po ay patuloy na mamamayagpag at magseserbisyo ng buong puso para sa ating mga kasundaluhan.